people out there, man. Test, 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 yeah. I want to show for some people out there, man. Yes, Welcome back, everybody. Jack Noakes from Sweet Erickson T-Bird Gym. The ladies victorious easily in the women's game that was just concluded. The final was Casper College all over eastern Wyoming. The T-Birds win it going away 88 to 47. Now the men with a record of 16 and 5 on the season. Casper has won its last three games. Birds are 7 and 1 at home, 2 and 3 away and 7 and 1 in a neutral court. They have played Eastern Wyoming once this year at the CSI tournament and came away with a 95-91 win back in November. Eastern comes in with 11 losses in a row now. The Lancers are 4-17. and 17. They have not, like the women's team, they have not won a game on their home court this year. They are 2-6. and six. Excuse me. 
two and six on the away court, and they are also two and six on a neutral court. <coughs> the old guy needs cough switch. Or a drink. <clears throat> anyway, birds now 16 and 5. And they are coming off a tough loss at Northwest Community College, an overtime loss, which ended with a fracas at the end and one of the Casper College players no longer on the team. That would be the leading scorer, Kennard Richardson, who got into it with a fan after the game and some things you can't do. So the Birds will play without their leading scorer the rest of the season. Tonight, they take on an Eastern Wyoming team that is Four and 17, Birds average 90, Lancers average 77, Birds give up 80, the Lancers give up 90 points a game. So, we're gonna do our national anthem here again, so we'll step aside for a moment. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineups for this evening's ball game. And we'll start with the Lancers. First of all, they'll go with Micah Glover. Glover averaging nine points a ball game is a freshman 6'2 from Brookshire, Texas. John Barbie at a guard, a 6'2 freshman from Tacoma, Washington, averaging 18 points a ball game, leading scorer on the team. Ryan Swan is a sophomore, 6'3 from Casper. Averaging, Swan averaging eight points a ball game. Marco Kutinich. Kutinich is a sophomore, 6'7", from Serbia. And he averages 13 a ball game. Seal Ojibwe is the other starter, a 6'8", sophomore from London, England. So it will be Glover, Barbie, Swan, Kutinich, and Osojibwe for the Lancers. For the Birds, Jaron Harris, the sophomore, averages 12 points a ball game. He's 6-1. Joined in the backcourt by the Kentucky sophomore, Jamison Epps, averaging 15 a ball game. He's 6-6. Usman Dia, the 6'10 sophomore from the Senegal, averaging four points a ball game. Joined by Dalton Peterson, the sophomore, averages 14 a contest. He is from Encampment. And then Nestor Diachok from Russia, averaging 10 points a ball game. He's a 6'9 sophomore. That's the starters for the Birds. Again, Harris, Epps, Dia, Peterson, and Diachok. Birds 16 and 5. Lancers are 4 and 17. 
Birds have lost but once on their home court this year. They come in with a seven and one mark here at T-Bird Gym. And we are about ready to go. Casper in their home unis. The white unis with the red trimmed in black and the Lancers in their black and gold. Sometimes they almost look like brown and gold, but they are the black with the white numerals trimmed in gold and the gold, gold piping, rather. And it will be Oshijibi and Dia. Dia wins the tap. Bird's on the attack to start things off here. Harris bouncing to Peterson and exchanges with Epps. Wants to go down right side, spins, falls away from 12. Got it. So an early 2-0 lead. Jamison Epps going to be called upon now with Kennard Richardson's 20 points gone. He'll be called upon for some more scoring, I'm sure. Tinich out front sets the pick. Barbie looked at a three, turned it down. Epps defending against Osa Jibby and he will score it, and we're tied at two. On the turnover, Lancers coming ahead quickly. Kretinich has his shot partially blocked, it looked like, by Diachoke. Birds will come back with the score tied at two. Give it to Epps, who bounces it. Harris right at half court at the T-Bird insignia. For Diachoke, tries a three from the corner, in and out, no good. Nothing but black shirts. Barbie comes away with it. And he will be fouled trying to go up. Jaron Harris will get the first foul tonight. Barbie to the free throw line. And he will shoot a pair, a chance to give his team the lead, and he does. Averaging 18 points a ball game, leading scorer on this team. Freshman from Tacoma, and the second one is there also. So the first lead of the ball game at 4-2 for Eastern. Birds get it in deep and an offensive foul here, I believe, on Epps. Yep. Got Jamison trying to go to the basket. And he will pick up the foul. I'm still searching through my statistics here. Birds on defense. Right now. And Peterson for the steal, got the steal. He's gonna go all the way down left side, left hand layup is good. Dalton with a nice defensive play, shielded well when he went to the hoop and scores it for the T-Birds. And he's fouled. Chance to give the Birds a one point lead again. In and out, no, actually it was off the heel and the rebound taken away by Kretinich. So we're tied at four, two minutes in. Pick out front, Barbie with a little screen and roll and the layup is good. Marco Kretinich with the hoop, birds get it in deep, Dia lays it off the glass for his first hoop, we're tied at six. Six all. Birds right now in a man to man defense. Glover hands out front. Gives it to Swan. Puts up the three pointer. No, but the offensive rebound and the putback. Marco Tinich with his fourth dribble drive. And Harris couldn't get it to go but we're gonna have goaltending, I believe. 
Going to count the basket. They're going to give Harris a hoop. That'll tie it at eight. I don't think there was a foul there. I think he cleaned it after it hit the glass, so it was goaltending. Birds and the Lancers tied at eight. Swan on the dribble, exchanging. They'll get it in deep, and the miss by Micah Glover. The ball tapped to Peterson. Dalton cross-courts it to Nestor. Dyakovic gives it to Dia. His shot blocked all the way out near the bench and the bought right back by the Lancers. Dribble drive, throw it up, no. Rebound Epps falling into the officials, falling out of bounds, comes loose to the Lancers, can't get it to go point blank, and the Birds try and run the break ahead. That ball deflected out of bounds. Michael Glover got his hand in there. Epps pass batted away. Darius Robinson in for the first time, first substitution for the T-Birds. 16-17 to go, opening half. We're tied at eight. Heps for a three-pointer. Oh, rolls all the way around and then hiccups out. Four minutes in to the opening half. Swan sends Robinson down, nothing called. He gets the ball back on the right side angle, uses his elbow to shield, goes right to the baseline, then kicks it back out top. Tinich against Dia, spin dribble, left hand, hooks it up, no. Osamne with the rebound for Epps to Robinson in a hurry, back to Epps at the top. Outside, Harris for a long three that's good. He can do that, he's got five and the Birds get their biggest lead of the contest at three. 11-8, Casper. Glover yo-yos it into the front court and exchanges with Barbie, who has it knocked loose, gathers it back, can't get it to go. Dia's got a lot of rebounds here in the first four minutes. Birds back on the offense here. Pull up, Epps, 14-footer just inside the line. No, Dia scrambling for a rebound, and he'll call for a timeout as he hits the deck. 15.04 to go, opening half, Birds by three, 11 to eight. I want to show for some people out there, man. court. They'll get it in deep. Epps can't get the little one-hander to go from 10. Dia volleyballs to himself, gives it to Robinson, misses from the baseline right, back the other way, and the slam and a foul. Well, let's see who the foul is on here. going to go on Darius Robinson. So Siola Asajibe at the free throw line here, try and finish the three-point play and try and tie the ball game up. He does his fifth point of the Evening makes it 11 all. Birds with the basketball to Harris, bouncing out high for Epps. He'll exchange with the Robinson. Darius back to Jaron. Harris looked at Dalton Peterson, instead decides to penetrate, lays it off the glass. Swoops in for an easy deuce. He leads all scorers with seven. Birds back on top by a deuce. 
Barbie into the front court. Ochibaguay double teamed, gets it in deep. They'll throw it up, no good. Petinich had a point blank shot. Robinson into the front court for Peterson. Dalton's first shot of the day or of the evening is no good. Left it just short from the right side. Spin dribble, Glover out top. Petinich for a three. Did they give him three? Now they're going to say Kurtinich's basket is a two. Nope, they did give him a three. Birds down by one, 14-13. Harris with a long three that misses everything. Birds are going to come back. Grandria Marich with that broken nose coming in for the first time. Lancers will come back with Ate Borarista. Borarista for the Lancers. Marich for the Birds. Birds hawking the ball defensively. Lancers up by a point. They go on the baseline, ducking in, left it too short. Robinson into the front court now. Dishing it for Epps, who wants to slam, couldn't get it to go. Rebound put back up and in, though, by Jaden Peters, who checked in on the dead ball. And the Birds back on top by a point, 15 to 14. This is a team Casper beat at CSI, but only by four points. It's a team that's lost 11 in a row. Trying to get back on the winning side. Nice move in the paint. A little 180 by Micah Glover, and he knocks it home in the paint to make it 16-15. Marich for Epps to Peters, and then Marich will give it to Robinson. Robinson spinning into the lane. Right side elbow, fall away, good. Well, back and forth we go. Birds up by a point again. Glover giving it to Oskibbe, who's double teamed. That's going to be a travel there. Glover got the ball stuck on his hip. Birds will come back with Diachoke. And Jameson Epps will go to the sideline for the first time. 12 minutes to go, opening half, 17-16. Birds by a single point. Robinson gives it to Peters. Diachoke in the corner now, loses his dribble, gives it right back to Darius. Pull up, baseline right, no. Rebound fought for, Marich can't control to go out of bounds off of him. And the ball will go over to the Lancers. When these two teams met on the 12th of November at CSI, the Birds prevailed 95 to 91. Lancers come in here tonight riding an 11 game losing streak. Like nothing better than to get one of their old rivals in deep. They throw it right to Robinson. Two on three back the other way. He'll have it knocked loose from behind. Hustle play that time by Krittenich. And the turnovers even out. Malik Frederick in the lineup with the basketball. And they'll exchange it over to Micah Glover right in front of the T-Bird bench. Feeding the low post. Pull up, step in, left hand layup, no good. Krittenich had it point blank, couldn't get it to go. Birds will hustle it back into Diachoke, leave it in the lane. Marich floating one-hander is good. Marich with his first bucket makes it 19-16. Birds' biggest lead has been three. Lancers' biggest lead has been two. We're almost halfway through the opening half. Right side in the land of 
three. And the shot no good on the dribble drive again. A point blank miss, Baristo. Baristo missing. Diachoke for three, no. And the rebound will be controlled by the Lancers. Ate Boristo into the front court. Behind a pick, exchanges outside for a long three. That's no good by Glover. Birds with another rebound, one and done for Eastern. Robinson loses a dribble, head fake on the three. Peterson just inside the free throw line, floats up the right-hander. That didn't go, ball tipped the other way. And the step and the layup is good. Guaristo averages 11 a contest and a foul gonna be whistled here. Diachoke got loose on the right side of the lane. And they're gonna say, is the foul on him? We got a timeout coming here. Nope. Foul is gonna go on Osajibbe. And with 9.26 to go, the birds are gonna go to the free throw line. They lead it now 21 to 16 after the basket and it should be Nestor Diachoke to the free throw line. So the birds really didn't get a chance to talk about statistics. Casper averaging 90, giving up 80. The Lancers average 77, give up 90. Birds hit 45% from the field, 36 behind the arc, 70% at the free throw line. The Lancers are 46% from the field, 32 behind the arc, and 71 at the free throw line. Rebounds, and here's the big difference. Casper averages 42, the opposition gets 44. Lancers average only 32 rebounds a game, and the opposition gets 35. T-Birds average 15 assists the contest, and the Lancers average 12. So Eastern, four and 17 on the season, riding an 11 game losing streak, trying to break that here at T-Bird Gym tonight. Scores 19 to 18 in favor of the Birds. And it'll be Nestor Diachoke trying to finish a three point play. And he does. No, they're gonna give him two, so his basket didn't count. Confuse me by taking a timeout. Second one on the way is good. So the Russian sophomore with a couple of points and the Birds again with a three point lead. Trying to pressure Epps, went for the steal. Got it into the first row of the crowd and the ball will stay with the Lancers in the front court. First time tonight we've seen Brian Castro at the guard. He'll exchange, oh, Harris almost had the steal. They're gonna leave it, Frederick will, for a two that is good. A little fall away. Gad Basibe with the shot. 21-20, birds by one. Diachoke, left side elbow, backing in, turns, nice feed. Robinson will fall away from the left side of the lane. That's no good. Birds will sink back into defense. Oh, missed a foul there. And the ball, and then the rebound, tossed up, comes away to the birds. Two on one, Harris gives it to Robinson. Won't miss that one, Darius, or Jaden Peters rather, slides in for his fourth point of the ball game. Nobody can break this thing open here in the first half. Frederick gives it over to Bisbee, right back to Frederick, to the right side elbow, tries to turn, throws it off the glass, no. Gets his own rebound, Epps will block his shot. Tried to put it up with three guys on him. Malik Frederick with the miss. 
Birds with the basketball. Pacheco into the Casper lineup. Diachoke has it stolen. This will be a home run. Osajibbe now with his seventh point to lead the way for the Lancers, who trail by one. Pacheco with a left-hand scoop. Got it. Tyler, the freshman from K-Dub, averages four points a ball game, and the Birds go back on top by three. Ooh. Peters almost stole that ball. Diachoke looked like he had a block, and a foul will be whistled. Gad Besiba to the free throw line. Siva, a sophomore from Lyon, France. And the first one is good. David Andrew into the lineup. 6'6 freshman from Littleton, Colorado. Second free throw on the way is good. We're back to a one point lead for the Birds. 25 24, seven to go in the opening half. Peters at the top to Dia. Gives it right back to Harris. Birds have Peters cutting in the lane. Fall away at the free throw line is no good. And Dia, after the ball is bobbled, gets it away to Jaron Harris, who will back it away now for Epps. Cross courts in the corner, left side. They'll bring it back out top, Pacheco. Epps looking for a pick. Comes to the top of the line or the top of the arc and drains the three pointer. Jamison now with five, and the Birds with their biggest lead, the biggest either team has had. It's a four-point ball game. Lancers on the attack. Very deliberate. They'll pull up for the three. That's no good. Epps will claim the long rebound after Osajibe misses. Epps still has it on the floor. Now goes... Over to Harris. Jaron almost had it knocked loose. Gets it back to Epps. Looking in the corner to Pacheco. Bounces out top. Harris alone pushes for a three. No. Rebound in deep. Peters can't get it to go. Dia volleyballs it ahead. Pacheco crashes. Couldn't get the rebound. Back will come the other way. And that's going to be a block in the basket by Castro is good. Hmm. Call the foul on, it'll be on Jaron, his second. Team fouls are now five on the Birds, just two on Eastern. <clears throat> We're approaching five and a half left here in the opening half. Peters will leave, Robinson returns for Casper. Bird lead is two, they just led by four. Eastern is led by two, and that's been their biggest lead. Free throw is no good. Epps will claim the rebound and will come ahead. Stutter step, dribble, exchanges with Robinson. Pull up free throw line, kicks it back out top. Epps kind of has it knocked loose, lost the ball, gathers it back a quarter court. For Darius Robinson, behind the pick, long three. That's no good, never got iron, just glass. Back the other way we come. Running ahead quickly, Castro. Back out top for Kutinich. Kutinich against Dalton Peterson. Backing his way in. They'll kick it back out top. Fall away, that's partially blocked. Dia will claim the rebound after Andrews miss. Osamne. Quickly to Pacheco, runs it ahead quickly. Peterson for a three, got it. Dalton's second shot of the night, or third shot, I guess. 
his fifth point of the ball game. We're gonna say it is his third, so I gave him one he didn't earn. Birds by five now at 31-26 with four and a half to go. It'll be a travel. Seal Osajibbe. 6'8", sophomore from London. Epps has gone all the way for the Burrs tonight with Kennard Richardson no longer on the team. He will get it to Darius Robinson. Still dribbling for Peterson. Felt it with the 1-3. Misses this one. Pacheco flat-footed at the arc with a rebound, then dribbles the ball off his foot and out of bounds. Osa Jibbe will leave. Pesebo will come back in for the Lancers. Birds are getting set to bring Nestor Diachoke back. We're under four to go in the opening half. Pacheco saw that one coming all the way, and he will lay it up and draw the foul. Boy, he is quick. He is just a jet in the open court. And the Tigers thought they could catch up with him. They fouled him, and he'll have a chance for the three-point play. Barbie will get the foul. The Casper crowd happy with that. We'll get a timeout on the court. We'll take one, too. The Birds have grown the lead to seven. I want to show for some people out there, man. chance to make it an eight-point lead. Tyler Pacheco will step to the free throw line with four points here in the ball game. And the Kelly Walsh freshman with a free throw that's good. He is a jet in the open court. Lancers couldn't catch him, and the Birds now lead it by eight. Men are probably not going to match the lead the girls had. They led at one time in the opening game by 49 points. Ended up winning, obviously. Sliding to a stop in the front court. They'll get it over for the three. That's no good. Robinson hustling ahead after the Dia rebound for Epps. He wants a three. Left it short. Ball claimed by Glover. Looks to the sideline for some instructions and gives it over to Barbie. Barbie out top, drew the double team, got it to Glover, and they swing it on the baseline. Backing in, fall away in the lane, that's no good. Rebound again, claimed by Barbie, back for Glover. The ball never got to the rim on that miss, and now I don't think they got it away. The layup will be wiped out. Ryan Swan was loose to lay it in with the left hand, but the shot clock expired. Birds with a chance to grow the lead now to double digits. Robinson all the way down, left side with the right hand layup is good. Darius, the freshman from Chicago with his fourth point of the night. 10 point margin for the T-Birds. Out top. Bisbee, Bisbee backs away. Give it to Swan on the dribble drive. That's partially blocked. Peterson alone, right side, three, crawls and goes. And it may be time for a timeout for the Lancers. 39-26, the Birds all of a sudden by 13 with 2.11 to go here. In the opening half, right now, Casper paced by Dalton Peterson's eight points. 
Jaron Harris with seven. Having to replace Kennard Richardson's 20 points a game. Richardson gone for the season after an altercation up in Powell the weekend before in that overtime loss against the Trappers. So the Birds will be without their leading scorer for the rest of the season. Right now they have spread it around. Harris with seven, Epps with five, Darius Robinson and Jaden Peters both off the bench with four. Dalton Peterson now with eight after having only two. Tyler Pacheco off the bench with five. And Osam, Osamne Dia with only two points, but I gotta believe he's got five or six rebounds. And he's tapped the ball loose for another three or four. He has been a force in limiting Eastern to one and done. Birds want to slap the full court pressure on the Lancers. They will hand it in to Glover, who will clear it ahead for Swan. Swan bouncing to Glover for Barbie. Misses the three-pointer, but the putback is good. Kritnich with the basket for his ninth point of the evening. Here's the low post feed taken away from Dia. Not a good look. Swan will hurry it ahead and then he will throw it all the way in the back court and they'll let that go out of bounds, almost out the front door. Should be bird basketball. If they had touched it, it would have been back court. Birds will get it anyway since it went out of bounds. Robinson to do the honors. Baseline to the right of the hoop for Osamne Dia. Peterson at the top. Diachoke will drain the three. Nestor's fifth point of the ball game. And it's a 14 point lead. Approaching the final minute to play here in the opening half. Birds out to a 42 to 28 margin. Glover, pull up off the glass, couldn't get it to go, but he drew the foul. That one will be number two for Darius Robinson. Micah Glover steps to the free throw line. Shooting a pair, and the first one by Glover is good. On the season, the best free throw shooter on the team at 84%. And the second one in and out. No, Epps will claim the rebound. One minute to go here, opening half. Bird lead is 13. They get it in deep. Epps too hard off the glass. Peterson manages to knock it loose. May have gotten away with a foul. Loose ball comes out to Robinson who dribbles to the top. Now wants to spin from the right side and leaves it for Peterson who won't get a shot because the foul is going to be whistled. Just the fourth foul of the ball game here for the Lancers. Glover gets his second. Bird basketball to the right side of the hoop along the end line. Just get it in and then Robinson will exchange out front to Diachoke to Peterson. Peterson behind the pick, looked at the shot, didn't take it. Shot clock down to 10, Epps off the glass, nobody's fouled. Bisbee with his second foul of the ball game. First foul. Free throw by 
Jamison Epps for his sixth point of the night. Epps on the season, 67% at the stripe. Chance to give the birds their biggest lead of the evening, and he does. Lead grows to 15 now with 27 and change left in the opening half. Pacheco will come back in for the birds. Diachoke will leave. See if Tyler can get another steal with those quick hands of his. Swan head fake on the three, put a man in the air, didn't get the shot. Final 10 seconds and a blocking foul gonna be whistled here. Hmm. This one's gonna go on Pacheco, I believe. Yep. 17 foul for the birds, so. Lancers will shoot. Harris and Robinson in for the birds. Pacheco and Peters will take a seat. Gad Bisiba at the free throw line gets the first one. He'll get a second. His fifth point of the ball game. 8.7 seconds on the clock, and the second one is in and out. No. And the rebound, Diachoke claimed it. Down to five seconds. Robinson's alone for a three. That is no good. And the half will come to an end. T-Birds will go to the locker room. Up over the Lancers, 44-30 to your score. Casper by 14 as we head to the halfway mark. I want to show for some people out there, man. Yeah.
show for some people out there, man. Yeah, so,
show for some people out there, man. Yeah. Back at T Bird Gym, getting set for the second half. The Birds with a 14 point lead. 44 30 over the Lancers of Eastern Wyoming. Casper led by as many as 15. Eastern's big lead has been two. The score was tied five times, and the lead changed hands six. Key statistics the Birds with 13 points off of turnovers. The Lancers with just two. Casper's bench has outscored Eastern 15 to nine. And the Birds have 24 points in the paint. The Lancers with 18. Casper 17 to 37, 46% from the field. Eastern 11 of 32, 34%. The uh, Lancers one of five, 25 or 20% behind the arc and the Birds were five of 13, 39%. Lancers have the ball, we're underway with the second half of play. Into the forecourt, the Lancers on the attack, trying to see if they can't eat into that 14-point lead. Looking in the corner and then trying a little 15-foot line drive that was no good it was Bisbee, and then LaFalo. Kritnich in double figures now with 11 points. Harris looking for Epps on the elbow. That didn't get the rim either. Too hard off the glass. Rebound taken by Eastern. They have numbers three on two and they'll get the layup. Bisbee with his seventh point of the ball game and the lead down to 10. And here's a foul going to be whistled away from the ball trying to or maybe there's some blood. That's what we're going to do. Kritnich will go to the bench, I believe. Not sure what we've got going on. David Andrew will come in and replace him. And here's the put back and the follow on the miss. That thing was going to hang on the rim forever. Diachoke with his seventh point of the ball game. Lead is 12. 
Not sure what the problem was with Krittenich. Here's a long three by Swan. That's no good. Birds will come away with the rebound. Harris to Epps. Puts his shoulder down, drives, then kicks it back outside. Peterson's alone. That's good for three. Dalton has 13, has 14, has 11. I thought I had it right. In the <laughs> ah, my sheet's a mess now. I had Peterson with eight. The official scorer had him with 11. Now the official scorer has him with an 11 after a three, so should have stayed where I was. 49-34, Birds have matched their biggest lead in the ball game. Little hesitation, and the fall away is no good that time by Ojibwe. Ojibwe missing, head fake, Diachoke kicks outside, Peterson, same spot, same shot. Same result, so now I can give them 14 points on the night. And the Birds with their biggest lead of the contest at 18. Jump ball gonna be whistled here. Just underway in the second half and the T-Birds starting to pull away now. See if they can maintain the pace. Harris for Diachoke at the elbow, Epps. Back to Harris, left alone, three ball, nothing but net. That's the hot spot. Harris now with 10 points. That's three for three from that spot. Two of them by Peterson, one by Harris. And the Lancers are gonna sit down for a moment and talk about this. They're gonna take a full time out. Casper Lead is 21 right now. We'll be back in a moment. I want to show for some people out there, man. get out and David Andrews going to get called I believe for the charge here so take the basket away it stays 21 point lead for the birds Harris will jog it ahead still in backcourt switches hands those between the circles almost had his pass knocked away Epps will control in the land of three into the paint Jamison drive too hard Ball knocked loose, out of bounds. Let's see, it's gonna go over to the Lancers. 55-34, three minutes into the second half. Birds by 21. Andrew will give it off to Gad Bisbee, and he will drain the two. Sabo with the two. Diachoke with the drive, answers right back with the two. He's got nine. And the Birds lead, still at 21. Dribble drive down the right side, Swan in the corner for Glover. Can't get anything going, and then Dia with a block. The 
Bezeba is going to go to the free throw line and shoot a pair here. Dia will get his first. Usman Dia getting his first. Bezeba's free throw is good, his first of the two shot foul, his 10th point of the night. And this one's off the heel, long rebound to Dia. Harris will bring it across on the right side. Pull up, nobody came out to get him. Misses, but what a follow by Dia Cho. Nobody sealed off the big man and he just soft touched it home. 22 point lead for the Birds. Head fake, Swan tries to drive, knocked down hard, didn't get the ball to go. Looks like he may have rolled an ankle, gets up a little gimpy on the right one. Peterson's gonna get the foul for the Birds, that'll be his second. Swan to the free throw line. And the first one is good, his first point of the ball game. Second one on the way is no good. The birds will tap it around and Epps will control. Out of the backcourt for Diachoke. Peterson wants to go all the way down the right side to Harris to the free throw line. Floating one-handers, good. Jaron with his 12th point of the night. Birds with a little token pressure in the backcourt. Broken. Hop step. They'll give it for the three. That's too long. Ball tapped around. And Merich will come away with the rebound. Quickly ahead. Epps for Peterson. Didn't get the three. They'll dish it on the low post. Merich wants to back his way in. Has his shot blocked. And a foul is going to be whistled here. Jaya Bibe gets the foul. It's his second. Merich will go to the free throw line. Shoot a couple here. That line drive of his. First one's good. The lead builds to 24. 15.07 still to go in the contest. Second one is front of the rim. No good. Maric with his third point of the ball game. And a running one hand layup is good and a foul whistled. Ostiaev be at the free throw line here with a chance to finish the three-point play, and he does not. Epps will claim the board. The Birds will come ahead with a 22-point lead. Epps at the elbow, looking in deep. Oh, nice look, and the reverse layup. Dalton Peterson with 15 points now, make it 16. And the lead still 24, 64, 40. Lancers on the attack, pull up, 15 footers no good, ball tapped around, rebound, Marich ahead to Harris, works it behind his back, hop step in the lane, and never had control of the basketball, was knocked out though, last touched by the Lancers. Diachoke will play it in. Got to get it in before the five second count. Birds get it in. Epps 
outside for Peterson. Dalton couldn't control. And some student gets that. 64-40. 14 still to play in the ball game. Jaya V with the basketball dribbles into trouble and has it knocked loose. And the foul will be whistled. This one's going to go on March, his second of the ball game. Team fouls now four on the Birds and two on the Lancers who will get the ball in the front court. Bounce it in, and then kick it back out for a three. That's a line drive that's good by Kritnich. His 14th point. Marich for Diachoke. Give it to Epps. Shut off, cross courts it outside. Peterson dusts another three. Well, I'm not sure how many he's got tonight, but that's at least four. Back to a 24-point lead. Epps or Peterson with the block shot stays with the Lancers. And then a long rebound. Robinson ahead for Diachoke. Lay it up and in. Switched hands and knocked it off the glass with his left hand. 26-point lead is the biggest of the contest. Birds running away just like the women did in the opener. In deep, that's going to be a travel. Ostia beat with the travel, and the Lancers will take a timeout. We'll take one, too. 12.50 to go, all Casper College, 69-43. to 43. I want to show for some people out there, man. basketball with a 26 point lead and still 13 to go in the contest as Peterson gives it over to Epps for Robinson at the top between the circles head fake fall away no rebound Lancers they'll bring it ahead Frederick into the lineup now had the ball and they'll give it back to Ryan Swan. Frederick wants to go to the right side, shut off there. Robinson lost him and they'll bring it along the baseline, kick it outside. Frederick for a three, long rebound to Peterson. Dalton hooks a pass over to Darius Robinson or to Jaden Peters to Darius Robertson. His pass will be deflected and knocked out of bounds. Well, the Birds looking to run their record to eight and one at home and 17 and five overall. Still got 12 minutes to go. Dalton Peterson, long three. Darius Robinson, long rebound and a deuce. He's got six. 
And that's the biggest lead of the night for Casper at 28. Lancers with the ball down 71-43. Still 11 and a half to go. Going to be a long bus ride back to Torrington. Dribble drive and a little give and go. Kritnich will get his 16th point of the ball game. And he leads all scorers for the Lancers. Peterson has 19 for the Birds. Epps fall away. Right side angle. Left it a little too hard and the rebound taken away on the run. Barbie into the front court will draw the foul. Jaden Peters will get his first. That's the fifth team foul. Peterson and Marich and Epps all to the bench for the Birds. Pacheco in, along with Jaron Harris, and Dia returns for the Birds. Frederick at the top, long 20-footer on the way is short, and the rebound put back up and in by Krittenich, who now has 18. Darius Robinson into the front court and bouncing in front of the T-Bird bench. Pacheco will get it to Dia. Out top, Harris. Robinson, head fake on the three. Bring it back out top. Peters for Pacheco in the corner. Three, no. Dia bores in with the rebound. No. Taps it out. And the rebound on the run to the Lancers, who have numbers. And the foul going to be whistled on Jaden Peters. His second of the ball game. Osajabibe, Osajabibe at the line for two. I'm not sure I'll ever get that right tonight. He averages nine a game. He's got 10 thus far tonight. Osa Seal, Osajabibe. Second one good. And the bird leads still a comfortable 22 as we approach 10 to play in the contest. Darius Robinson to the elbow on the right side, loses it, gathers it back, and a foul will be whistled here. Should remain T-Bird ball. Foul will go on Ryan Swan. 16 fouls for the birds, just three on the Lancers, Casper. On the near side here, we'll play it in. Harris drives, steps in, and lays it off the glass. Nobody came out to take Jaron, who's now got 14 on the night. Spin move, Barbie. Ooh, that was kind of pretty. Little 10-footer and a soft touch. John Barbie's first hoop is his fourth point. And we're going to get a timeout again. 9.45 still in this one. Casper on top by 22. It is 73.51. We'll be back. I want to show for some people out there, man. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. dunk on a team is, you feel me? So first we got b Nard right here. He got some for us real, you see me? Something real cool. Then we got Ned, something not too, too crazy. My four man. Who the best dunk on a team is, you feel me? Dwight Canary. And I think it's 500 or 386, excuse me. Now here at Casper College in his 15th year as the head man at Casper College. On the men's side, the birds out to a 73-51 lead. 
Still five, uh, 945 left. Eastern Wyoming came in with an 11 game losing streak and it's about to go to 12. Robinson with the basketball at the top. Dribbles behind the pick by Dia. Dia will exchange with Jaron Harris and Harris back to Jaden Peters. Tried to find Robinson cutting from the weak side and the ball knocked loose. Then Harris tries to gather it in with his feet. Let's see what the officials say about that. Now we got another foul. I think this may be it is. Ryan Swan's going to get his second. Birds will bring the ball in. Tyler Pacheco to throw it in. Along the sideline. Pacheco for Robinson to Peters. Right back to Tyler. And an illegal pick going to be set here. This is going to go on Jaron Harris. So that'll be 17 fouls. Offensive foul, they won't shoot, but from now on, the Lancers get to step to the stripe. Castro into the front court for Barbie. And the ball taken away and stolen away. Quick hands by Jaron Harris. Into the front court for Peters. And a little bump and run underneath the basket. And the foul again on the Lancers. I think Swan's going to get this one, too. He'll get another one, and he'll have three all here in the second half. Just the fifth team foul, so we're still not shooting. The Birds will come back with Diachoke and Peterson and bring it into Dia. Usman trying to drive in the lane, throws up the left-hand hook. It went, but the foul before the shot. And this one, Marco Kritnich gets his first 16 foul. Birds will bring it into the right side of the hoop. Harris to throw in, bounces Diachoke alone. That's too easy off the glass. He's got 15. 75 51. Casper's biggest lead has been 28. At the top. Little jump step in the lane and the layup off the glass is good by Sia Osa Jagdi. 75-53. Approaching the eight minute mark in the opening or the second half. Birds on the attack. Harris, three in and out. No. Ball tapped around. Comes loose to Castro. Wants to run it ahead down the right side. Nice defense played that time by Darius Robinson who knocked it loose. Ball will stay with the Lancers and they'll bring it out top. Looking to Swan on the right side angle against Robinson, loses his dribble. And here is a deuce. God, there's a lot of spin on that ball. Osjaiabi with the shot. Birds come back the other way. Harris with the layup. He's got 16. And the bird lead stays at 22 with 7.45 to go here. We're going to get a short 30-second timeout. Our next game will be next Wednesday. No, it won't be next Wednesday. It'll be a week from Saturday when the birds will host Northwest. Got so much stuff in front of me, I can't go all the way through it and find it. But the birds will be on the road at Rock Springs this weekend, this coming weekend, Saturday. And then they will be on the road at Cheyenne to make up the game that was lost Saturday with the uh, less than optimal road conditions that existed in Wyoming this weekend. 77-55, time back in. 
Lancer basketball. Castro looking for a pick. Goes right side elbow, loses the ball. Gives it again to Sochaya B, who misses the shot. And then from behind, Epps' pass is blocked, but a foul's going to be whistled. Kritnich is going to get that foul to be his second of the night. And we're shooting both ways now with 7.30 to play in the contest. This could take a while. Jamison Epps to the free throw line, 67% on the year. First one's good. Epps averaging 15 a contest, has eight thus far tonight. For the Birds, Harris with 16, Peterson with 19, Diachoke with 15. Those are the leading scorers as Epps managed to get that one to crawl over the front of the rim. Biggest lead has been 28, it's 24 right now for the Birds. Barbie from 15 left it short. Robinson claims the rebound ahead to Epps. Back outside, Harris cross courts it. Darius from the right side, or left side rather, is good. He's got nine, he averages nine. Castro with a drive will lay it up and in, but a foul before the shot. Jaron Harris going to get his fourth of the night. So the three players in double figures for the Birds with 15, 16, and 19. Epps close with nine. Castro bends at the knees, knocks the first free throw home. His Third point of the ball game, Brian, a 5'9 freshman from Anchorage, Alaska. Jaron Harris will leave with the four fouls, and Tyler Pacheco back in. The Kelly Walsh grad, a fan favorite, obviously. Robinson hurries it in, gives it to Pacheco at the free throw line, kicks outside, die a choke, no. Castro rebound, ahead for Andrew. Spin dribble against Peterson, fall away, and he gets another one. Seal, seals his man off and has 17 points, and the Birds are gonna lose this one out of bounds. Ball tipped off Jamison Epps. On the turnover with six and a half to go. Lancers bring it ahead. Bouncing on the high post, trying to back his way in with the left hand, couldn't get it to go. That was Krittenich, Birds get the rebound, run it ahead. Robinson kicks for Peterson, got the three. 22 for Dalton. Lighten it up from outside again, and the bird lead back to 26. The steel trying to run it ahead, couldn't get it. Controlled by the Lancers in the back court. Swarming defense, Castro looked like he might have stepped out of bounds. Gonna get it for an air ball, Swan. Saved back in to the birds though. Get it ahead, and here's Pacheco from three, wouldn't go, Epps with the feed. Trying to get the smallest man on the court, the easy three ball. Pacheco, Tyler with five thus far. Soft one hand floater in the lane is good from Kritnich. He's got 20, but it doesn't matter when you're down 24. Robinson, Darius, oh, left hand layup, no, but he drew the foul. Andrew's going to get that, his second. Robinson to the free throw line. He'll shoot a pair. Chance to hike the lead to 26. First one's good. Darius now with 10 on the night into double figures.
Second one's good too. Well, after kind of a slow start, the birds have really opened up and owned this since about seven minutes into the game. Leading now 87-61. Their biggest lead has been 28. Head fake on the three, kick it outside. Andrew dribbled it off his knee. Birds have a three on one. And Epps will soar and score. He's in double figures with 11, and the Birds have matched their biggest lead of the ball game. Back the other way, Darius Robinson will lay it up with the left hand. He's got 13, and it's now a 30-point lead. The Birds average 90 a game. They're at 91 now with four and a half to go. Trying to feed it in deep. Krittnich will score it in deep. He leads the Lancers with 22. Robinson looking for Epps. Right side outside to Peterson. Dalton trying to get the pass into Epps and then he tried to feed Diachoke cutting to the hoop was knocked out of bounds. Ball, I believe, is going to stay with the T-Birds. Shot clock down to 10. They'll play it out of the corner. Darius to throw it in. Dalton Peterson was the intended receiver, but Ryan Swan stepped in, knocked it into the T-Bird bench. Nothing off the shot clock. Pacheco will get the inbounds pass. Give it to Peters for Peterson. Shut off at the free throw line. Diachoke alone, a three, no. Swan with the long rebound for the Lancers. Has the ball knocked loose by Robinson, picked up. Pacheco for Peterson. Ahead, Robinson, and wanted to get the lob over to Peters. Here's Diachoke with a dribble drive, lay it up and in. Nestor with 17, the Birds by 30. Robinson was going to try and give the ball away. Wasn't happy with the hard foul. Dalton Peterson grabs him. And Robinson's going to go to the free throw line here. The foul was on Ryan Swan, his fourth of the ball game. Birds by 30. That's been their biggest margin here tonight, and they're about to extend it with Darius Robinson shooting a pair here. Still 312 to play. Casper could get to the century mark. Robinson with 14 now. Dalton Peterson, Jamison Epps will leave. Marich is back in, and we'll also see Vinny Spradling for the first time tonight. Big horn. And the free throw good by Darius, his 15th 32-point lead. Just over three to go. One-on-one, -on -one, Osef Jibbe against Maric, and Maric is going to get the foul. Osiah Jibe is going to get the basket. He's got 19. Chance to finish the three-point play here. And he won't. Birds will get the rebound, but we're going to get a rebounding foul first. Jacebo will get this one. Nine five six five. Birds by thirty with two five nine left. 
and Darius Robinson at the stripe. He just made two. Going to get two more, and the first one's off the heel. No good. Second one's in and out. No good. Volleyballed around. Marich couldn't control the rebound. Lancers will bring it ahead. Final three minutes of this contest. T-Bird's going to move to 17-5. and five. Eastern's going to lose for the 12th time in a row. Three-pointer is no good, and the rebound taken away by Pacheco. Tyler into the front court, floats up the one-hander that's good. Little this guy on the court with his seventh point of the night. Into the front court, Glover double-teamed at the elbow, tries to dish down low, fall away, that's good. Well, he's been the scoring with 21 points tonight for the Lancers. Two minutes to go. Bird basketball, Spradling. Oh, try and reverse it up. A little fancy move by Robinson. Couldn't get it to go. Back the other way. That ball will be thrown out of bounds. Under two to play, all Casper College. Spradling sits for a three that hits the top of the basket, didn't hit the shot clock, stayed in play, didn't go down. In deep, Andrew has a shot blocked and then a foul. David Andrew will step to the free throw line Spradling will get his first foul. And the first free throw is good. Andrew's first point of the night. Second one, kind of a funny motion, but it's perfect. 90 seconds left in this baby. The Birds trying to get to 100. Spradling backs the dribble away to Robinson for Marich. Turns, puts it up with the left hand. It was off the heel, no good. Lancer basketball. Out top. Seba backs the dribble away, falls away, couldn't get it to go. Ball tapped around, taken away by Jaden Peters. Peters for Spradling for three, got it! And that'll be the 100 mark. 100 to 69. The little kid, the little guy, shouldn't say kid. One of the smaller ones on the court from Bighorn, dealing the three. Robinson almost slapped that ball away. Triple drive along the baseline. Ball tossed right to Pacheco. Tyler into the front court for Spradling. Three that doesn't go. As excited as the crowd has been all night. Back the other way. Marich may have gotten away with a little basket interference. I don't know if he hit the ball or not, but the birds are going to be able to sit on this. With four seconds to go, the clock will wind down, and it's a 100 to 69 victory, a 31-point margin for the birds. And the birds move to 17 and 5 on the season. Eastern drops to 4 and 18, and they lose for the 12th time in a row. So it's a sweep and a big time sweep for the birds tonight. The women winning 88 to 47, the men winning 100 to 69. So a pretty decent crowd for a Wednesday afternoon. will leave on the 1st of February and be all smiles. Coaching staff should be all smiles also as 
both teams walk away with big victories tonight over the Lancers from Eastern Wyoming. Well, we'll come back. Sean Gutting will join us in a little while, I assume. We'll see. When we come back, we'll take a look at stats and recap Casper's 17th win of the season right after this. Jack Noakes with Sean Gutting. And before we talk about the game, is there anything more exciting or more gratifying than see a guy who comes off the bench and doesn't play much get a hundredth a point? Uh, that was the biggest treat of the night for the crowd. It's pretty poetic sometimes, isn't it? This, this game yeah. of basketball and uh, uh, couldn't happen for a better kid, you know, so. Um, I'm really well, glad his that teammates were just going crazy too. Yep, yep. You, you can tell him and Tyler what they do for us in practice, what they do for us daily, and you know doesn't re reap the benefits all the time. Uh, these guys really appreciate it. We're talking about Vinny Spradling from Bighorn here, and then of course Tyler Pacheco, who uh, gave you some good minutes again right. tonight, and we can talk about that later. But right now. Your team responded pretty well, given all the turmoil that's yeah, happened you know, recently. This group is, uh, has really done a great job of, of sticking together as much as they can. 
um, you know, fighting through adversity, uh, you know, having some off days, off nights, um, you know, but staying focused on their goal, um, you know, and they've really responded to us challenging them to do that. Um, they haven't really fought it. Uh, you know, the practices have been good. Um, our meetings have been good. And, you know, the guys have really tried their best to stay positive, you know, and, and we're about to go through a gauntlet here with seven games, the league games, that, yeah. you know, a bunch of road games that are tough. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to test our mettle a little bit, you know, coming off of those. Well, you're missing 20 points, mm -hmm. your leading score gone with Kennard Robinson out. Dalton Peterson kind of responded tonight, six of eight from the land of three. Yeah, you know, and it's going to be a, a group effort from yep. these guys. I mean, it's going to take, you know, all of them. Uh, there's going to be nights where, where – some guys really shoot it well, really give us something different. There's going to be nights where guys, you know, are, str are struggling and we need our bench and we need everybody to step up. Um, you know, we nobody has an excuse anymore, you know, at this point. You're going to play, and, and what are you going to do when you get on the floor? Um, and, you know, like, like I said, these guys have responded so far, so hopefully we can keep them on momentum. You, you got Maric back in the lineup tonight. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time he's been back? Uh, it's the second time. He played, time, he okay. played at Central uh, a little bit, um, you know, and it's just kind of trying to get him back into the groove of things. Uh, you know, his It's got to help to get another big guy yeah, out there. Yeah, it helps with our bodies. And, you know, I mean, he's, he's just got to get back in the flow of playing, um, you know, especially with a mask on. It's all new for him, uh, you know, and – when he does what he's capable of, it gives us a nice other piece to throw out there. Um, you know, and I think he'll only get more comfortable the more time he gets playing again. Scored 23 points off of turnovers. They get five. Your bench out scores them 32 to 18. Mm -hmm. You were subbing freely all night. Uh, was the pace of the game kind of what you thought it would be? It started out kind of a little sluggish, you know, a little sluggish for us in the first half. Um, we really wanted to try and get out and go. Uh, and it just took us a while to kind of get our engine rolling. It was a lot like me warming up my car in the driveway here in Casper, Wyoming in the, in the winter, you know. Uh, yeah. It just takes a little while. Um, you know, but once it happened, once we kind of started to get our momentum going and, um, you know, our, these guys, we got to get to a point where it's not just us seeing shots go in that make us really get our momentum going. Um, it's got to be with our defensive effort and rebounding. Uh, but, you know, once we kind of got the flow going in the second half, we at least were able to get up and down a little bit more. I was going to say, you know, oftentimes teams get up and your biggest lead was 33. Teams get up by 20, 25 and maybe yeah. kind of you take the foot off that gas, and you didn't do that we've, tonight. We've had uh, instances of doing that this year. We've been able to play really well and get a 20 to 22 point lead. Um, and then we've just relaxed, you know, and uh, we don't have enough bodies to do that. You know, we don't have enough bodies for guys to get comfortable. Um, you know, and tonight was a good sign, good indication that. Uh, we were able to kind of keep a lead, um, you know, and not falter and not, not start to get bored with it or, or relax. Um, you know, ultimately, I think what it comes down to is the fact that the, the next, you know, six or seven games are going to be really close games. They're going to be battles. And, you know, it's going to be the roller coaster ride of leads and being down. And, you know, these guys have to respond to whatever that's going on during the game. So Western Wyoming on Saturday? At Western Saturday, at L Triple C on Wednesday. So we've got two big ones we've, coming up. We've seen Western here. Mm -hmm. You didn't play them. Not yet, nope. But they've got some athletes. Yes, yep. Yeah, Coach Sosa's got a really good team again this year, and so does Coach Salisbury. So, um, you know, never an off night here in, in Region 9 this year. Well, listen, uh, as a veteran of the roads in Wyoming and I-80, <laughs> uh, I hope you have a good – I sincerely mean this, yeah. too, because I've been on that thing when it's a horror yep. show. yep. And you're headed to Rock Springs, so. Yep. Uh, it's one of those just kind of prey situations, so we'll be yeah. doing that before we hit the road. Well, have a good <laughs> trip and come back with a win. Yep. Yes, sir. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate All you right, guys. All right, thanks, Sean. See you. Sean Gutting, the head man, as the Birds win it tonight, run their record to 17-5. and five. Your final score again, Casper College 100-69 to 69 over the Lancers of Eastern Wyoming. I'm Jack Noakes. Thanks for listening and staying with us and viewing. And We will be back. Uh, let me see if I got this right. We're coming back not Saturday, not Wednesday, but a week from Saturday. Northwest will be here. Until then, so long, everybody. show for some people out there, man. Yeah,
show for some people out there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Show for some people out there, man. Yeah,